Lewis, we just beat Leeds 1-0. I bumped into you when we were leaving Matthew Harden. The look in your eyes, I've never seen you so happy. I've never, ever seen you smile so much. It, I've seen everything. I've seen, I saw you when, I think that when we won the Champions League. I saw you, oh, oh mate. It, it feels, you said it yourself, it felt like we beat Real Madrid, not Leeds. Especially that last 30 minutes, and I don't know if that's just another signif- signification of where we are, but <laughs> we'll take it. I, I don't care, we, we have been robbed, like, take it, we, everything that has been Chelsea has been taken away from us over the last few months. I will take the three points. I don't care how abysmal parts of the performance looked. I don't care about the game management, the questionable lineups. We'll get into all of that, and we'll be objective about all of it, but we've got three points. Like, we've been joking and being quietly serious about 40 points. We're now, we're now, I think, six points away from it. It's just a case of two wins or a win and three draws. We might actually be staying up. Might actually be staying up. We scored a goal, kept a clean sheet, won a game. Like, for the first time in ages, it feels good. It feels really good. People still want to say, oh, but it wasn't an open play goal. I, I mean it. It wasn't, and it is a bit of a fair point. But it's like, come on! Like we we win, we draw, we lose like every week. It's been two and seventeen going into this game. Let's just enjoy it for once. Like that last forty or so minutes after the goal. That's the best I felt watching Chelsea in ages, <laughs> and we didn't even score after that. If anything, we got pegged back even more after the goal. But it's like we're winning. We're finally like we're not we're not getting bantered. We're not getting torn apart. We're not embarrassing ourselves every week. We're in a winning position. I don't care. I will take it. Like, yes, there are questions. Yes, we were absolutely dreadful in open play. We will never finish a chance in open play to save our lives. But whatever in it, I, I don't care. All I care is about getting the points, get me to 40 points so I can mentally sign out of this season and I can just not care after that. We are six points away from that. All the negativity, all the BS, I'm putting that to the back of my head for now because I think the fans needed that. I think we all desperately needed just some sort of positive note to take off because coming to Chelsea is just fucking depressing. It's so depressing. You walk into every game thinking, right, how many goals are we going to concede this time? What's the scoreline going to be? How long is it going to take? After the first 30 minutes when Havertz missed that one-on-one chance, Felix hit the bars thinking, this is just Dortmund all over again, isn't it? But we went and got a goal. We, we managed to at least hold ourselves defensively. I thought we actually did a very, very good job defensively. And we have to stick to a back five as well now. I know we've been trying to transition to a four. Fuck that. We, as soon as we transitioned to a four, we were just losing games for fun, drawing for fun. We actually looked a bit controlled in the defensive third. Keep that. Midfield, like, Enzo Kovacic did the best that they could. I thought they didn't have a bad performance. Going forward, it's just the same old shit, but whatever, we scored. I'm not going to make too much of an issue with that. It'll be the same crap next week, but whatever. We got the win. Fafana looks very good. Koulibaly, ba- Koulibaly and Fafana, rather than, like, one little error, were very solid. Badia Shield, solid. Chilwell, so much better when he's given a license to roam forward. Um, yeah, who... Well, we, we couldn't rely on Rhys James, did we? So Chilwell had to step up. Yeah, I was trying to... Who played on the right again? I completely uh, forgot. Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek, yeah. Struggled a bit in the first half. But as we grew into the second half, we got the goal. I thought he was a little bit better. Pushed the ball forward a bit more. It's a confidence-building performance. And, and that's literally all that we need because everything else is at, bo- is at the bottom tier. Our confidence, our belief in the squad, our belief in even going to games and getting three points, it's not there. We all went into this Leeds game, I don't think anybody expected a win. We came here, we got that. Now I feel like I can go to the next few games and think, hmm, we could actually do something. We could at the very least hold the game and maybe get a draw. I know, the bar is in hell. The bar's been in hell all season. But as soon as we get those six points, nothing matters. Because at least we're going to be here till next season. We're going to still be in the Premier League. We've got our status secured. Whatever you want to say about the process or Potter or the players, we can be a lot more objective about it, but we can be calm in knowing that we are staying up and we're going to be in the Premier League next season. It's mad to think that last week we were genuinely serious about talking about a relegation battle. But one win is all it takes. 
calm down the nerves. Mm -hmm. And I think we can build on it. I think Dortmund, we showed that we can create chances against them. It, a lot of people are saying it's one of the best performances they've seen under Graham Potter since game. since he's arrived. Uh, that's, that's what people Mars have told me. <laughs> um, but, but surely we, we do have a, a real chance to actually stick it to them. I mean, we just need the one goal. And then, you know, Champions League, European nights, anything can happen. I'm slightly more confident for the Dortmund game, but I'm also not tricking myself. We, we need to score twice. That's, that's the next thing. We scored one goal in the game. Now score two goals in the game and keep a clean sheet. There's your real test. I'm going to wait till that happens. I'm not going to say the game's done or thrown out. I'm still not really that confident, but I'm a bit more confident than I was before I went into this game. But you're asking for a lot. We've got no Oba. We've got no Fafana. So you know Havertz is going to be wheeled out for another 90-minute game. Just please do something. Put the ball in the net. Or keep your head up when you're one-on-one -on -one and notice when someone's making a run right next to you like Jao Felix was doing in the first half. Just something, please, because the UCL night, high line, like it's, it's the, the scene is set for Kai Havertz to do something in that sort of game. So please, just do something. But the defence, I believe we can keep a clean sheet. Midfield, after the last Dortmund game, I'm not saying anything because that midfield got doggied all game. Like We all knew a goal was coming from transition and it happened again. That's the one thing we need to try and neuter. But if we stick to a back five, I think we might be able to be a little bit better in terms of dealing with those transitions. Something could happen in that game, but I'm not saying it's going to happen. But if that does happen, if we go and we get two wins back to back and we get a convincing performance against Dortmund, I think that's going to do a lot in terms of building the fans' confidence, building the players' confidence. It also gives them something to fight for because we all know top four is not happening. We're talking about top fucking 40 points for the last month or so. But if we progress in the Champions League, I can't lie, that's a bit open. No, no team really looks like they're holding a grasp on it. And I'm not saying Chelsea are going to win the Champions League. I'm not doing that. But I'm talking about just progressing. For me, I, I just like one more European away. Just give me one more European away. We're probably going to get knocked out whoever we face. I don't give a shit. But give me one more day out. Give me that. The players will have something to look forward to and have something to at least focus for that might do a little bit of a better note for us in terms of Premier League games coming up ahead because like we did say, it is the winnable run of games. Leeds, Southampton, West Ham. Uh, we've got Everton coming up. We go away to Leicester next week. These are games that you can get three points in. So I think if you progress in the Champions League, you keep everyone's confidence high, you keep everyone's motivation high and that might do us a bit more benefit with the games that are coming up too. But it's a big ask. It's a big ask for us to do something against Dortmund. It's up to the players to instill that confidence in the, in the fans, like I've been saying all season. Like, we can't say anything. We can't do anything. We've seen you not be crap for too long. You lot need to show us who Chelsea is now. Mate, you, you've hit the nail on the head there. Um, just to finish it off, uh, two questions. Would you be starting Havertz against Dortmund? And what do you think the situation is with Mudrich at the moment? Because he's barely getting any minutes. We, we have no other choice, do we? So, so we're, we're just stuck with Havertz for another night. Potter will love it. He wheels him out for a full 90 for fun. But well, whatever. But we're not stuck with him. There, is, there are options. for Fafana, Aubameyang. For oh, God. Champions League. We're stuck oh, with him. Mate. So Havertz is going to be in the lineup. Whatever. Just do something, I beg. It's a high line. It's a Bundesliga defence. It's a UCL night. Everything has to be set in place for you. Do something. Just do something. Mudrik... Not even that fussed about because that guy is that guy is very close to those 007 memes. And half of it is because of substitute appearances. I'm glad we didn't bring him out because he wouldn't have scored. He wouldn't have got an assist. He would have been getting memed out for doing absolutely nothing today. So I don't even mind Mudrick not playing. But play him against Dortmund. Again, high line suits him. He does need to be a little bit better in himself because I don't think his take-ons have been all that good over the last few games. But it's up to him to show himself. He's a £70 million signing. He's got to bring that out in himself. But... I don't know. I don't, I don't know with the Dortmund game. I don't want to get too confident over a 1-0 win against Leeds that we literally struggled with. We took basically all of our attackers off after the first goal because we just needed a win that desperately. But who knows? Anything could happen. We're Chelsea. We are the most unpredictable football team in the world sometimes. Maybe we could turn this around. Maybe we could actually give us, ourselves something to go off on Tuesday. But I don't know. Even like, it's up to par. It's up to him with the lineup, the game management. I'm still not changing my mind on Potter after just one game. Like I still think the lineup was a bit questionable. The game management, I'm not going to get at him over the substitutes because 
I get people are annoyed that you brought on Gallagher and Zakari at 1 0 up when we need a second goal, but it's not a bad move. It's more like I am shook of my job. We're 1 0 up. I will hold this lead for everything it's worth. It's whatever. It's a bit risky, but it worked off. So I'm not really going to get out Potter for that. But it's also way too early to even turn your head on him and say I'm back to Potter in or anything like that. Show me a run of games. Show me a consistent play style because I didn't even really see that today. I just saw a more stronger defensive unit. Show me something a little bit more consistent. Show me some improvements. Let's go on a winning run for once in our lives. And then maybe we can talk about Potter in or something like that. For now, you've kept your job secure. That's it. Just, I don't know. Say, say, give us a little bit more. Today's the day at least where you can say the boys gave everything and it's fine because you know what? The boys did give everything. But consistency, 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 consistency. That's the one thing we need because we haven't had that all season and that's the reason why we are where we are. That's on Potter and it's up to him to show it in the next few games.